the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. You know what I mean? In other words, it could, huh? I'm just glad that Jesus uh, was willing to demonstrate that he was he was really a man. Yeah. Yeah, but, but Bishop, I was I was I wanted to I agree on that on the on the you talking about the, the on the and the carnal kind of line, but I'm saying is when he said why have you forsaken me, does that also mean listen to what I'm saying there, y'all? The communication was cut on the cross for well, that. I think he he was he was yep. put in the position of the first Adam you do, you do understand that on the cross he's been made to bear the sins of the world yeah. exactly yeah. right which has got to place the sins of humanity upon him right yeah. and now he's not now he's dealing with him as the scapegoat yeah and so not the full wrath and judgment of God against sin has to be executed upon him. Right. And and, and he, never, he ain't never known that before. Exactly. Because I'm saying this, remember when we talk about Brother Adam, we were talking about Lazarus, when you you know you corrected me a little bit. It's not some of the correction say, Father, I know you heard me. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you put that, but you you always, you always hear me. Hear me. Yeah. Right? But yeah. at that time, there was a point on that cross is that turning the back, that that, that that communication was broken. Well, that man, that man. Well, not just communication. The, listen, the whole son, father oneness is broken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, that, and that that's what I'm saying. He was, at that moment, <coughs> he's a sinner. He became as Adam. As that separated, like Adam. Yes. Just okay. like Adam. Yeah. The, the spirit was separated. Now God was was still God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now. But, but there then, was a separation. They, yes. From the spirit. Right. Just like Adam. Right. Right. That was the agony. And the only difference is he didn't sin. Uh-huh. Exactly. To well, receive that separation, which was the perfect sacrifice. Yeah. Well, listen, the, 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 unlike Adam, though, he's he's enduring something that he didn't deserve. Yes. He's there. Yeah. Right. He right. violated. He violated nothing. Right. Yeah. He is just in obedience to God. He is pretty much transposed in such a way. You, you can think of something like that. He, he really now hangs there before God as a condemned sinner. Mm. And 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 I and I think that the, the going back to the center text this was I can't hear from him then. You, you see what I'm saying is he couldn't hear from God. Remember brother I said, I said that's why I'm going back to that key point because I think it still rides back to the central theme. To hear from God is to to die to self and to be resurrected to life in Christ. Yeah. In, in that state, I don't think we can even sense the presence of God. Yeah. And in that state, look, look, mm. let's break Man, it that, That's something right there. To never have been separated until that point. I mean, that, 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 that's astonishing to me. You wonder why he's agonizing in the garden? That's why he's agonizing. I he think, knows coming. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. A, it wasn't so much of the beating and the nails and all that stuff. It was that separation. But humanly, the only way he could know that is when he got there. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, man. That's 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 deep. Right. Because they're one. Right. They, yeah. That oneness was broken, so that he can relate to us. But he's also telling us is. He went uh, right. He's our example, is he? Bishop? He's our example, right? Yeah. He's our example. Yeah. Is, is that, I, Father? I thank you that you heard me, 
and you're always hearing me. Always hearing me. So we want to hear, we got to get beyond the cross, mm -hmm. beyond the burial to the resurrection. And that's why he even do the communion, right? Is to remember. Now, well, we got to get beyond. We got to get beyond an external Jesus. Yes. To an indwelling Jesus. Indwelling, yes. Yes. Because yes. that's the one that always heard you. That's the one that's always yeah, hearing and, you. And that should be our testimony. Woo! That that should be our testimony. Woo! So we want, yeah. So if if we if for if elder could, elder had to preach today, he couldn't be here today. He had to Wait, preach today. Preach he he told me I, I I he could be doing the same when he did on the on Facebook. Uh, I forgot the name of the church. Remember the church he did on Facebook, brother Allison? You remember that, oh, Jimmy? No, I didn't. I didn't see him on Facebook. Yeah, that he sent that link out. He actually played the trumpet uh, and, and did a message. Uh, I'll see if I can find that link. But he put it on Facebook. He sent it out on Messenger. Okay, I didn't get that. Okay, yeah, he said he was gonna send it to you. I, I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get a one for you. Hey, y'all ready? Anybody ready to do the communion with me? Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm a. Uh, I'm not gonna do it this Sunday, mainly okay. because I, I have company and and I'm out here cooking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you cooking? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm smoking some stuff right now. It's smoking. Okay. Okay. It's not uh marinade. It's not reefer. No, it's not reefer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, I do think the uh, that, that that critical piece is I got I mean I got a good I got a good uh, there's a lot of revelation coming out of this. This was this was good. This was good. This was real nice for a resurrection day. I a know. day of remembrance of that. Yeah. As well as the uh communion. That is the communion. Yeah, yeah. This day is the communion. It is. The, it is the communion. It is the. He said. He said, "Do this in remembrance of me." And like I said, to get people to understand, he's he's off the cross and he's talking to. Them. Yeah. That he did. He he was resurrected. He was resurrected. Don't forget that. Don't 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 just look at the cross. There there's there is a greater. Yeah. Thing that happened. Woo. Yeah. I like that song. Like I said, I don't like I like that song. He, that's he not how he out. out. He just said it. Peter said he poured himself out. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Woo. He, it, that's what it's like, right? He poured himself out. You know, and I like that song. That is not how the story is. <laughs> and, and Bishop, that's almost that testimony you're talking about when you do the communion, right? It's, it's testifying. What he did. He Three said, days later. Huh? Three days. Three days later. Because that's not how the story oh, is. Oh. <laughs> so for, for that soul, three days, that could have been a thousand years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on now. Come on. Come on. He could have been, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> but the key to it is, that is not how the story ends. That's right. And if we can get there, I can realize I'm talking to a, you know, Peter ain't dead, Bishop. Peter is alive in Christ. Yeah. <laughs> all yeah. the saints. Yeah. He, they said all that, he said that, then he said, I am not the God of the dead. Yes. But Ooh. of the living. That's, that's, that's some powerful words. Yeah. Those. Just those. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is the first. Come on. First. He's the first. Come on now. And I think that's why he's trying to get us to understand. Look, guys, you're dealing with a limit. Listen, hey, go ahead. Jesus, Jesus is the only one that I know of. He's the only one that I know of now. On this side. That said, I was dead. Woo. Oh, I'm alive. Come on now. Come on. Come on. And, and, and I like what he said. Peter, Peter, on this side, Peter can't say that. 
down pure cancer. Oh, I can't say that on this side. They, they were alive here. They died and passed on. They're alive on the other side. But Jesus said, I was alive on this side. I died and I'm back alive on this I'm side. I'm back alive. Right, right, right. And, and, and I'm interceding for you. Yes. <laughs> hey, Vince, you want to do a communion? You want to pray it out for me? <laughs> I, I just uh, want to read this simple verse, man. I think uh, in John chapter uh, 6, verse number 48, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Yes, sir. Your father did eat man in the wilderness and are dead. Mm. Yes. It's the bread who's coming down from heaven that a man may eat thereof. Yes, sir. Not die. Woo. I am the living bread. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, it did it again. <laughs> I'm the living bread. That's the difference again. I'm the living bread. If, if a man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. Yes, sir. And I give is my flesh, Woo. which I will give for the life of the world. Come on. And jump down in verse number 53. He then said, Jesus, unto them, barely, barely, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. Woo. You have no part. You have no life. Wow. Listen, the emphasis, the emphasis <laughs> of all of these verses is a living life. A living yeah. life. Right. You, I, I'm trying to get life into you. Yes. That seemed to be the core thing throughout the whole Bible, isn't it? Eternal life. Living. Who shall ever eat of my flesh and drink in my blood has eternal life? And I will raise him up. Mm. Mm. I'm going to do what I did. What did me, I'm going to do to you. <laughs> so when the scripture said we ought to, uh, often that we will, we ought to remember. Yes, sir. And I am the absolute fool of members. I, I got up early this morning, went in my backyard. I wanted to make sure that, that uh, I had a chance to say some things to him. Oh, Lord. And... Uh, I want him. I, you know, I think we ought to be uh, mindful to testify to him that we are willing to eat his flesh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And drink his blood. Uh huh. Mm. Symbolic of the fact that it is what he did that enables us to have life in us. In us. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I think I do. I want to do this. Can y'all give me a minute? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Amen. In other words, it it it. it He's telling, that way he said, do you remember the bishop said, I'm a living God. See, because see, now I'm talking about hearing, <laughs> right? That's what we're talking about, right? You remember that, that, that's the whole point, he said, moment by moment. The only way I'm going to do that is that's a God that's alive. There's a Jesus that's alive. There's, there's, there's a Holy Spirit that's alive in us. Moment by moment. Okay. I often think that we sometimes let we sometimes realize the scripture saying that Christ in you is yes, the Holy sir. Spirit. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. And that and that we don't realize that on the day of Pentecost, uh huh. Though the scripture talks about Jesus pouring out the Spirit. Yes, sir. The scripture would, 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 would admonish you to say that that it was the, his own, it's the spirit of Christ that he's pouring out. Yeah. So, yeah. so look at the agency. There's a verse that describes the Holy Spirit. In the in the same verse, it describes the spirit of the spirit as the spirit of God and the spirit of Christ. Yeah. What, what, what is, it, is it fair to say that the word Christ? Because you remember, you say, remember we talked about it before that sometimes if you said Jesus Christ is talking about humanity, uh, Christ Jesus is talking about the anointing. The anointing is the Holy Spirit. Isn't it? Is, is that another word calling the Holy Spirit Christ? Well, well Christ is just talking about the chosen one. The, the, but it's the anointed chosen one, right? That means anointed, right? Anointed one. Well, the anointing pretty much talks about the choosing. 
Okay. Okay. You know, you know, that's why when Samuel goes down to David's house, he anoints David with oil. Yeah, right. To signify that he's God's chosen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so the anointing in the back in Old Testament is a, a an event that signifies that God has chosen you for a particular role or position. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the Christ said that I've chosen you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And with that chosen, you see, come all of the necessary resources to fulfill the function for which you've been chosen. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it, it's there when Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me. Mm-hmm. He selected me. Right. It's the gospel. Yeah. That selection also comes with everything necessary to fulfill the role. The accompanying, mm -hmm. yes, yes. We're talking about the anointing, uh, uh, Brother Addison, and, and the fact is the hope of glory is in you, Christ is in you. Mm -hmm. You've been you've been selected yes. and equipped yes. to do the will of God. Amen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, Jesus says in this verse that uh, in verse number 55, he said, For my flesh is meat indeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my blood is drinking deep. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you, see, if you were careful, you would just miss the whole gist of what he's talking about. Mm. But he's using that which is absolutely essential, necessary, and God ordained for natural life. Yeah. Yeah. So, what happened to the many disciples? that couldn't follow him no more when he told him that. Well, listen, listen. You know, you can follow even though you don't understand. Yeah, well, I think that's one of the things, right? You, I, don't think, I don't think the 12 fully understood it either. Yeah. Well, obviously they did. Judah, no. Judah, hey look, Peter, Peter ran. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, but they knew they knew that Jesus was sent to fulfill something on their behalf that they couldn't do themselves. Yeah. And because, listen now, this is the difference between the people in Egypt, coming out of Egypt in the wilderness, and these 12. Okay. When they saw the miracle, uh -huh. they were like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait. It's something to this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. well, then, I believe when he called Lazarus forth from that grave, I believe that got him right there. There's a whole bunch of them, yeah. I believe they like, they're like, okay. That's it, right. Four Look days, too. Look here, we at the funeral, and all these folk here testify he was dead. Yeah. We just go to the graveyard. Yeah. And the undertaker was sealing seal up the tomb. Woo, <laughs> woo. And we saw him tell him, pull the cap off. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Come on. Hey, did you, can, <laughs> it's funny. They knew, you're right, I think they knew because remember, they, they, the Pharisees and the Sadducees told Pont, uh, uh, I guess it was Pontius Pilate, hey, we need to put a guard on this uh, this tomb. Yeah. Because yeah. Cause that deceiver said he, he, he gonna get back up. They, like, they understood, he gonna get back up. Hey, Bishop, somebody understood from it's the a, leadership in the Sanhedrin. He said from then on, not only did they seek to kill Lazarus, kill Jesus, but they sought to kill Lazarus too. They did. Yeah. They were feel the evidence. Yeah, the evidence. So. Yeah, and they're still trying to do that, but that's that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. It, 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 it's just interesting, and then I think for people to get off the cross, move past the cross, accept, the, recognize the cross for what it is, and get on the other side of the cross. Because if you're going to hear from God, you gotta understand, we hear somebody who's no longer on the cross, no longer buried, but is risen. And every time they see me, he's still here. Amen. Yes, Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. Amen. Hey, this morning that we uh, 
We are grateful and thankful to be alive this day and to, and to hold you in, in precious and dear remembrance, knowing that uh, that you were willing to take on the likeness of sinful flesh, mm. take on our humanity, dwell upon this world, you know, from the face of this earth, and experience life from human perspective, and yet remain without sin. Yes. We thank you, O oh God, that it is your sinlessness mm. that qualifies you as an offering for and the atonement for our sin. Yes. God knows that there were many. Mm. We thank you that God made you a willing and an able sacrifice. And through your death, through your surrender, yes. through your giving up of your life, through your suffering of the penalty and the just reward that was due to us. Yes. We have found forgiveness, atonement, and redemption. Yes. And now we signify that you are in fact dwelling in us. Yes. And you are the source of our very lives. We now eat this bread symbolic of your body in remembrance of you. Thank you. We drink this juice and this cup with the symbolic of the very blood that was poured out from your body and the Leviticus because that you've given the blood yeah. the atonement on the altar. That it was your blood, oh God, that atoned for our sins. You said that we ought to drink in remembrance of you in remembrance of the new covenant that has been made. Yes. So we drink this moment in remembrance of you. Hallelujah. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Thank you. Brother Addison, since you're cooking today, why don't you pray, pray out for us too, your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Let us pray. Father, we just truly, truly thank you for another day. It is a beautiful day at that. It is. Not any other one is, is any different, but this day is a beautiful day in my sight. Yes. Thank you that you have given us a mind to be saved. Yes. Thank you that you fulfilled all that you needed to do to bring us to your Father. Yes. And I thank you, Father, that you rose Christ, our, our Savior, yes. from the dead. Yes. So that he is the first of many, Lord God. Many. And so we celebrate that this day. Woo! That we no longer Yes. look at the cross father but we look at the indwelling of your son which is yes. within us yes so that we may go forth as living epistles living epistles sharing what you would have us to share yes and that your son hmm. will confirm that word with signs follow signs follow so, so that this world will know that he is and he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Yes. Father, we truly, truly love you today. Yes. We honor you today on this special day that is set aside by us. And that many are sharing this day as a, as a holiday. Mm -hmm. But I pray that before they go out and do what is ritualistic. Come on. They are told. Woo. significance of this day this day in the lives of the children that will enjoy this day mm. and those who are stuck in a childlike spiritual state yes so that we can all move forward Lord God in, yes. you. in you I thank you Father thank you and I give you all the glory and all the honor in Jesus name Amen Amen Amen